Hi, this is uh, Randy uh, again, and we're just going to continue on. This would be part two of the post installation for ESXi. I wanted to point out that um, kind of my notes here is that the first line is what uh, I'm intending to demonstrate, and then with some of these, I've kind of got shortcuts or notes to myself about how to get there. So we've, we've done the first couple, actually we've done one through three, and now we're looking at number four. And in number four, I want to set a static IP address, IPv4 and IPv6. And then this is a, kind of a shorthand of how I get there. And there's just notes for myself that I'm saving as I become more familiar with, um, with the web client. Same here with networking. As a, a part of the, the class project, we want to also take a look at one of our handouts. Some of these handouts are, are very busy, I realize that, but what I'm trying to do is to get you the information that you need, but it's, it's certainly going to take some thought uh, for you to think and understand about what's going on here. And so what we've got here in this handout is down here at the, at the bottom is we have a representation of your ESXi server. So, you know, the, these are these are blank, um, these these locations here, because there's a, a handout that then tells you, OK, what whatever server you're, you're using, then you've been given a specific a block or not a block, but a specific address uh, to assign for your interfaces. Uh, but it's unique. Uh, we've got uh, 18 servers, 18 students. But this is how it connects. And and um, I work with these drawings and they're helpful to me because there's a lot of IP information going on here, but they take some time to understand. But I just wanted to draw your attention to that. So this is this shows, um, we're kind of only looking at part of it here. If we could get a different view. If we were to go, let's go down to 75%. Yeah, that's a little bit better. You can see all the way to the internet. The internet's up here. We come through a couple of department routers. We've got a switch here that is literally live to the internet. One of the interfaces off your server down here is on that switch, and that would be your Intel 82579 NIC. Uh, from uh, from one of our, our routers, firewall routers here, we go through, uh, excuse me, these are just routers. Uh, here's our firewall. We go through our firewall, and then we come to another switch, and this is uh, internal to, to the lab, lab A, 224A. And you can see here then we've got a private IP address and also a, a public IPv6 address. And these, these will then be assigned to your Intel i219LM NIC. I also note here we've got two storage devices that you use in a, a, future, a future part of the lab where you connect to iSCSI and to NFS. So the goal of the project is not that we fly blind. It's that we, we understand what we're doing. And, and uh, because this part of the network is out of your reach, I want you to have this picture. And I hope that it'll take some time. But I hope that if you sit down with this picture, that you can get a feel for uh, this is you down here. This is your server. And one interface on your server is directly connected to the internet. Uh, the other interface is connected onto a private network. And this is what we're going to use then to to uh, to configure our IPv4 and IPv6. The way that we're going to manage this server is we're going to manage it off of the private side of things. And that's a kind of key to know. When you install the server, you could you could choose to use this one as your management NIC or use this one. And we went with this one. We put then the management behind the firewall. So for IPv4, if you're coming in across the internet to get to your server, for IPv4, we're going to be using network address translation. If you're coming in under IPv6, it'll it's a direct connect. But that's the NIC that we're going to use uh, to do this. So that's quite a bit of video time just in, in uh, giving you an, an overview. Let me show you one other, uh, one other handout here. So this handout then shows, uh, based upon what server you've been assigned here in the lab, it uh, shows your fully qualified domain name. And these are resolvable under um, DNS for IPv4 and IPv6. It shows within the lab, these are the addresses that get network translated to these addresses. Literally, it's that way. If you're coming in from the internet, you, you would uh, DNS would resolve to this address. This address goes through network address translation, becomes this address. And again, this is IPv4. And then IPv6 is direct.
So we spent uh, almost five minutes of the video just kind of reviewing where you're at. This one will come up later uh, when we do iSCSI. And you've been assigned a, a 10 dot address to run a, as a separate network ID for doing iSCSI. All right, tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Uh, and then uh, we'll do a third video that, that goes right into setting IPv4 and IPv6. And again, we're setting this for the host. What we're configuring is how do you get to the ESXi server itself. What we're setting does not have, uh, it's not the virtuals. The virtuals will come later. So I'll wrap this up and we'll pick up then with the third video where we actually do the configuration.